Is it all? But it's not that bad out there right now. In fact, we're seeing some blue sky in the city of Philadelphia okay. right now. We're starting to clear out the earlier showers. We're getting into a little bit of a lull period. We're dealing with moisture from Hurricane Irma. And as I'll show you, there's a bit of a disconnect between those bands of showers that came through today and the actual center of what was Irma's circulation. Let's take a look outside. I do want to take you up to the north where it's still looking pretty damp and gloomy in Bethlehem. You can see the roads are wet. Not a lot of steady rain coming down right now, but mist and drizzle and fog, and you can see it just looking like a very gloomy evening there along Main Street in Bethlehem. But in the city, like we said, some blue sky trying to peek through, so we are starting to clear things out just a little bit, basically just in time for the sun to set at 712 tonight. Storm Scan 3 shows again that disconnect. So the showers that came through here midday associated with one of the outer bands from what was once Irma. That band is now up across portions of New York State and headed into southern New England. And notice the clouds are starting to clear out just a little bit. In fact, in some spots, it could actually be a pretty cool looking sunset tonight. But as we head to the west, you can see Irma's not done with us yet. There's the actual center of what was once Irma's circulation, and you can see the rain moving through portions of Ohio. That's mainly lifting to the north, but scattered showers and unsettled weather will come along with it tomorrow as that center of circulation rotates through the east coast. It's steamy outside as well. The dew point right now in Philadelphia is 71 degrees. That puts us right in the oppressive range. This is some tropical in origin air that's moving through and it's going to feel pretty steamy right through the end of the week. So pretty quiet outside tonight. Even tomorrow morning, a few breaks of sunshine, then watch for showers and possibly a thunderstorm to pop up again tomorrow midday into the afternoon and evening hours. That finally departs Friday. Showers are more to the north. Can't rule one out, but I do think we'll see some sunshine peak out and then Saturday much improved weather with sunshine on and off for much of the day after a foggy start. And speaking of fog, fog is going to increase through tonight across the Delaware Valley. Look at this. We're down to less than a mile visibility at 2 a.m. across much of the area, and that will last into the first part of the morning commute. So please be safe. Not really easy to see that far in front of you when you're talking about visibilities down to zero or a half mile. Jose is a category one hurricane. It's going to stay out to sea. It'll weaken to a tropical storm, but it's still going to sit off our coast into early next week. That'll kick up the threat for rip currents and large swells down the shore. Tonight, 69 warm and humid with that fog developing tomorrow, mostly cloudy with showers and a thunderstorm at 82. Take a quick look at the Temple game on Friday night at Lincoln Financial Field. The sun will be out for maybe the first five minutes of the game and then the sun goes down, but it will be warm and it should stay dry for that one. And then it's a warm and sunny weekend and it looks like that nice pattern will stick with us into next week. So we just got to get Irma out of here mm -hmm. and things are looking pretty and good. That sun is